Hello all the peoples of YouTube world. I know it's been a little bit since I have made a video, but found something really good in my, guess what, American government book. Well, I thought that, you know, this series is just going to be all about the bullshit. Then I find this. In the chapter of my book, they're discussing how people form their public opinion and how they vote and all that stuff. And they say one of the factors is family and education. And so, you know, they talk about the family and how children, you know, even though it's indirect and parents might not try to instill political values, since kids are raised around it, that's what they have. Until they go into the school system. Okay, so this is what they say about the schools. The start of formal schooling marks the initial break in the influence of the family. For the first time, children become regularly involved in activities outside the home. From the first day, schools teach children the values of the American political system. They work to indoctrinate the young, to instill in them loyalty to a particular cause or idea. In fact, training students to become good citizens is an important part of our educational system. School children salute the flag, recite the Pledge of Allegiance, and sing patriotic songs. They learn about George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Susan B. Anthony, Martin Luther King Jr., and other great Americans. From the early grades on, they pick up growing amounts of specific political knowledge, and they begin to form political opinions. In high school, they're often required to take a course in American government or even to read books such as this one. Wow. They actually said what they do. I was like, holy crap. They said it. Wow. I found that very amazing that they actually did that. <laughs> wow. They're being honest. Okay. Adios.